good morning students today we are going to start chapter number 6 personalizing windows 7 in which we will be doing all the practicals as you know that the desktop that appears on the computer screen has some background and themes you can change these background according to your choice so let's start and see how we will decorate our windows 7 desktop screen now see here today we are going to learn opening personalization window see how to open personalization window just follow these steps first click on start button click on control panel from here click on appearance and personalization then click on personalization here windows 7 personalization window is started windows 7 personalization window is started now click on close to close it so here we have learned how to start windows 7 personalization window now first of all we will be learning how to change desktop background how to change desktop background to do that we need to click on start button once you click on start button start menu will appear from the start menu click on control panel again click on appearance and personalization from here click on personalization see here windows 7 personalization window appears from here just click on desktop background click on desktop background you will be able to see there are number of background images appeared from here you can select any of the desired option and look at here here you have number of options like a uh, windows 7 desktop background picture library top rated photos solid colors and see there are many more like here i have made a folder which is visible 20, 2018 and 19 the so photos that i clicked in the year 2018 and 19 now let's start how to choose a desktop background so let's click on our desired image and click on save changes now just click on this button minimize button and see the desktop background is changed now once again just click here click on the control panel now click on desktop background now you can change the other image as well now click on this click on save changes again the desktop background is changed clear again just click here if you want to select your picture as your background just click here click on the folder like here i can find out my folder and desktop also so click on desktop now see here all the images are selected click on clear all then click on the desired picture click on save changes and now minimize it see the desktop background is looking like this okay now i would like to use my older background for that what what will i do click on desktop background click on windows 7 desktop background now i will be checking where is my background okay now i can find out it is here click on clear all select it save changes close it and see once again my desktop background is appeared okay now next we are going to change the screen saver as my computer has already a screen saver so i need to set a new screen saver for that what will i do and screen saver a screen saver is the moving picture that appears automatically on your computer if you do not work for a certain period of time or you can say that when your computer is idle for some period of time a image or a floating image or a floating text appears on your computer when your computer is idle for some period of time 
now see here how to change the screen saver click on start button click on control panel click on appearance and personalization click on personalization and from here we will be choosing screen saver here just click on screen saver screen saver settings window appear here just click on the, here you can find out one arrow click on arrow and now here you have different options available just click on bubbles and just wait for some time just click on preview just wait for some time click on preview and just wait for some time and see what happens to the screen you will be able to find out there are many bubbles appear so this kind of image or the floating image appears in your computer when your computer is not working for some period of time or you can say that when your computer is idle for some period of time now 3d text see what happens just click on preview and see this kind of 3d text will appear when your computer is not working for certain period of time clear Similarly, you can add some other text. You can change the timing here, wait timing. Okay, you can change the wait timing and just click on apply changes. Your screen saver will be applied. Now, click on close button. Clear? Next, we are going to learn how to change the color scheme. To change the color scheme, click on start button. Click on control panel click on appearance and personalization click on personalization from here click on window color click on window color now first of all before we set the window color i will tell you see where does these color reflect these color will reflect at the top and the bottom panel of your computer or some of the part in the program see here it is already seen as blue let's change with this color and see what happens the color changes here okay you can change the color intensity as well okay now i would like to make it yellow so what happens when i'm clicking the intensity see what happens it changes to yellow okay so whatever you do at last you need to click on save changes okay so I would like to keep my older color so I'm just clicking it on it and then click on save changes clear and at last click on close see what we did we did change the color scheme next we are going to learn how to apply theme how to apply theme for that what you need to do for that we need to click on start button click on control panel click on appearance and personalization click on personalization and from here look at this screen look at the whole screen these all are theme these are theme as i created it so it is my themes these are arrow themes and these are basic and high contrast themes so let's go with arrow themes let's click on landscapes just click on landscape and just click on minimize see what happened see here theme is a combination of desktop background color scheme and screen saver all are available here all are available here okay now now what you need to do if you want to change the theme just click on the control panel once again click on the desired theme and just minimize it and see here the theme is changed the theme is changed again click on control panel click on the desired theme minimize it and see here the theme is changed so theme is a combination of background color scheme
स्क्रीन सेवर एंड देर आर मैनी मोर देर आर सम साउंड इफेक्ट इज ऑल्सो अवेलेबल हेयर ओके नाउ वी हैव लर्न हाउ टू अप्लाय थीम ओके नाउ आफ्टर दिस वी विल बी वी विल बी एडिंग अ गैजेट टू आर डेस्कटॉप स्क्रीन नाउ वॉट इज अ गैजेट वॉट इज अ गैजेट गैजेट इज अ स्मॉल प्रोग्राम दैट इज मेड फॉर सम स्पेसिफिक वर्क ओके नाउ सी हियर हाउ टू एड अ गैजेट ऑन आर डेस्कटॉप स्क्रीन नाउ सी हियर दिस इज आर डेस्कटॉप एंड सी देर इज नो गैजेट अवेलेबल ऑन माई डेस्कटॉप स्क्रीन सो वट यू नीड टू डू जस्ट मेक अ राइट क्लिक यूजिंग योर माउस एंड जस्ट लुक एट हियर this is gadget just click on gadget and see the gadget gallery appears there are different gadgets available whatever you need just click right on it click on add and see it appears here this is a clock now i would like to add one more gadget so i'm just clicking on calendar click on add and see it is available here now click click on cross and the gadget gallery closes now i would like to uh, as uh, this calendar is not in use to me so what will i do i need to remove it so what will i do just bring your cursor over it and see you will be able to see there are number of option among them there is an option to close there is an option to close so you can click on it and it will be closed now i want to close this also i want to remove this also but not using this option so what will i do just make a right click over it and see at last close gadget just click on it and see the gadget is out now how to set the gadget make a right click on the desktop click on gadgets gadget gallery appeared just right click on the desired ga uh, gadget click on add and it appears on your screen now how to add and how to remove a gadget you have learned there are many changes you can do in your gadget see here appearance of the gadget can also be done using the settings button clear so there are different types of appearance available of these gadgets okay so whatever you want you apply it and if you don't want you can make a right click on it click on close gadget and it is removed so here we have learned many things in personalizing windows 7 if you did not understand anything just watch all the steps one one by one you will be you will be able to do that so now we have completed this chapter just watch this video again to clarify your doubt thank you